and we call it in this terminology tawqifi these umur these matters are tawqifi they are mawquf alay on the telling of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam as he told we we accept it no reason no principle no logic no grammar now these ayat you know you may note here there are about 6656 there is some difference in number but round about 6500 ayat of the quran whole now these ayat second term is surah and the plural is sawar but you know this word is because it's not commonly used i'll be using the word surah and and surahs during this translation when we are translating into english and what is surah surah is not a chapter please note these terms are not applicable to the quran these terms which we use about the books generally sentences paragraphs there are no paragraphs in the quran then there are no chapters this is not chapter because you know for at the chapter of a book there must be a certain topic and the that topic should be discussed in that chapter alone it shouldn't be repeated in the second chapter or again in the third chapter but we find in the quran that even the story of adam and and iblis it has been repeated in seven surahs of the quran so actually it's a unique book it's not the common book as we know the word book human books this is a unique book in itself and it has its own compilation its own style its own terminology so ayat then the ayat are joined together in surahs there are 114 surahs of the quran and these surahs you know are very small also three surahs are there who have only three ayat each walas innal insana lafi khusr illa alladhina amanu wa amilus salihati wa tawasaw bil haqqi wa tawasaw bis sabr surah is complete in the same way inna aqayna kal kawsar fasalli li rabbika wal haq inna shaniyaka huwa al abtar surah is complete and on the other hand we find surah al baqarah 286 ayat and among these 286 ayat there are certain ayat which are so long that ayatul kursi is at least three times bigger than suratul asr so actually these sizes are also dependent upon what the prophet sallam told us these are tawqifi umur not based on any logic not based on any principle the only principle is that the prophet told us this is suratul baqarah starts from here and here this is surah al ibran starts from here and here it is small or large big or small it has nothing to do with any number any size any principle of grammar but as far as the contents are concerned there are principles every surah has a central theme and all the ayat of that surah they are connected with that central theme logically they are absolutely logical relationship but you know not as we find in our chapters it's a complete in itself self sufficient in itself then one point please note and that is most of the surahs of the quran are in pairs surah al baqarah surah al imran a pair in the same way we the, the mushaf ends with muawwazatain qul a'udhu bi rabbil falaq qul a'udhu bi rabbin nas very similar to each other that's a pair in the same way wadha wal layli za saja alam nashra lak sadrak the same thing being discussed in both the surahs addressing muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam personally it's a pair very apparently a pair in the same way ya ayyuhal muzammil ya ayyuhal muddassir ya ayyuhal muzammil qum illa 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 qalila ya ayyuhal muddassir qum fa anzir it's a real pair so most of the surahs of the quran are in pairs although there are surahs which are not in pairs they are unique they are munfarid and most of such surahs are very important but actually this we shall be referring to these things during our translation that is why i want to acquaint acquaint you with this basic terminology now these surahs the big surahs have been divided into rukus this division was not present at the time of the prophet or during the days of the sahaba it was done later on during the umayyad period 
and by a person which is not liked by many, and that is Hajjaj ibn Yusuf. He is the person who divided Quran, the bigger surahs of the Quran, into two kuz. Why? Because you know you can't recite the whole of Surah Al-Baqarah in one rakat in the prayer. So there must be portions. So can you can recite them in your prayers. So for that purpose, one ruku for every rakat. The, 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 the root is the same. Raka, ruku, rakat, and ruku. All these things, what are? One rakat, you, you can recite one ruku. So there, one subject is discussed in one ruku. So this was done later on, but it was not present in the days of the Prophet or of the companions. Radhi Allah ta'ala anhu. In the same way, then the whole of the Quran was divided into 30 parts, which we call parads and parts in Qur'an. This division also was done later on, and we don't know when it was done. But it definitely was not present in the days of the Prophet wasallam or of the companions. This was to facilitate the Muslims, so that every Muslim can read and recite one para, one part of the Qur'an, every day, so that each month he completes one recitation of the whole of the Qur'an. But these two words, these two terms, rukus, and paras or parts, they were introduced later on. They were not present during the days of the Prophet ﷺ or of the companions, رضي الله تعالى نمجمعين. But then, you know, another word which we find in Ahadith, that is Hizb. The surahs of the Qur'an, they were grouped in such a way that Qur'an was divided or divisible into seven nearly equal parts, not exactly equal. Some hizb is more than five paras. First, first hizb is more, more than five paras. Some is less, because you know if you divide thirty parts into, and you divide into seven, you know, so what will come? About four and a half in each, but we have somewhere it is four and a quarter, somewhere it is about four, Somewhere it is more than five, as I've told you. But the beauty is, and this word was present during the time of the Prophet Hizb. Because people who had more love for Quran, they used to complete the recitation of the Quran in every week. So they had to divide Quran in seven parts, so that they can complete the recitation of the Quran in one week, seven days. So we find the beauty is that the surahs are complete. They are not broken in this division into Ahzab or Manzil as we call it in, in Urdu generally. Manzil and the Ahzab, this is the Arabic word mostly used. We have three surahs in the first. 